Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Tackle Talk. As always, I'm your host, Brandon Miller, and I'm glad to be here today. Today we're going to talk about crankbaits, and I've got three different kinds here. From small to large. So, let's get started. Uh, let's go. First up I have the Rapala Jointed Shad Wrap right here. This is great bait for trolling for walleye and just for bass fishing. Um, it's got a really long lip dive. It's about 7 to 10 foot. And the cool thing about a Shad Wrap is it's not doesn't have a very wide side to side action like a square bill or a bigger bill bait. It has more of just a roll, a tight roll, and with a jointed one you really get a lot more wiggle. So that's just an all around great bait. Comes in a shad color and I have a perch color here as well. Very nice. Uh, let's see, up next we have a bomber, fat free fingerling right here. This is probably the opposite of a shad wrap. It definitely has a wider action really really widening action made to jump off cover and stuff this is a great one um, very strong lip as you can see it's not thin it's not going to break on you which is really good when you're fishing around rocks you need something that's very durable and this bait is definitely durable paint doesn't chip hardly at all so this is this is a great bait comes in great colors so check out bomber they got some awesome stuff now I come to the small category and most people think small crank baits are for pan fish they're not. They are very good. See if you had a bit of a cold front or just fall fishing and summer fishing. Um, the weather's a little hot, water's a little hot. These can be absolutely deadly. So up first we have a Rebel Grasshopper. And haven't fished much of this bait this year. Just got it um, this winter and took it out. Has good action. And what I like to do with baits like this is I like to just walk down the docks, throwing along docks, and I catch plenty of fish doing that. Also Rebel makes a great um, crawfish one that's kind of the same style and that one I have caught literally lots of bass with. I actually hooked a four pounder with it so these things are not for small fish guys. Don't get that impression at all. They're very awesome. Up next and last we have a Rapala Ultralight Shad right here. This is actually a new product that came out either this year or last year. I'm not sure but it's just a great bait. Um, again, has an action like a shad wrap, that tight wiggle, and it falls horizontally, so you can use like a jerk bait. My brother's used this and caught bass, so he almost swears by it. This is his little baby right here. Um, awesome finish on it. Very durable bait. Really awesome. Um, this episode was maybe a little short, but I still wanted to share these baits with you. Stay tuned for the next episode of Tackle Talk, which is coming Christmas day or Christmas morning that's going to be a really special one. So guys, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.